Watch me build a fully branded Shopify store in five minutes using AI. Let's say theoretically we found this product and we're ready to sell. This is a period pain relief product for women, right? It helps with menstrual pain, etc. And we're lazy, we don't know how to build a store, we don't know how to design a landing page, and we just wanna to get to the point and start selling. That's where AI comes in. So I'm using this AI tool, I've been testing it out, that essentially takes an AliExpress link like this, and I'm able to then create a fully premium branded page for me that looks like this. So this entire page that you see right here, this is my store that I made for a different YouTube video and it was created entirely by the AI tool that I'm gonna show you. These images were custom made by the AI. This is absolutely insane. Like when I first started dropshipping years ago, we were not able to do anything close to this. Even on my own, I wasn't able to do this. So the fact that AI can actually take a link and create something like this is mind boggling. Now let me actually take this link and show you in real time what it creates. So first things first, if you don't have a Shopify store, you can go in the link below and start for $1. So create your account and it'll charge you a dollar for three months. And then from there, we're just gonna need to install the crafted AI Shopify app. So this app is the description below. Okay, you can get a three day free trial and it's very affordable. So once you install that to your store, we're literally just gonna to take the AliExpress link, we're gonna go here to Crafted, and then we're gonna paste the AliExpress link in here, and then we're gonna click Generate Product Page. Once you click Generate Product Page, it is going in real time, gonna show you what it's doing. So it starts researching the product, starts designing the page, writing conversion copy, so it actually studies who your customer is, and does deep research on who you're selling to and how to actually write copy that would connect with that ideal customer, right? Page layout, it's styling it, creating a homepage, and then it's gonna publish. So it actually shows you right here, theoretically speaking, how much time you actually saved by leveraging AI. And this isn't an exaggeration. Like to build a page like this in the past, if I were doing it completely by myself, this would take me at least an entire day, if not more. Most of you, it would take a week, you'd overthink everything, and you'd just waste so much time, you'd get discouraged, and you would forget about drop shipping. But I think AI is making it a lot easier right now for the laziest people to win at drop shipping. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like in a second. Now, while we wait for Crafted to do its thing, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create your brand name and your brand name logo all using AI. Most people overthink this for days. We're gonna do this in two minutes. Now, all I'm doing here is I'm using Claude AI, okay? And I'm uploading a few of the product images here and I'm giving it this very detailed prompt that gives it a branding expert persona that can actually help me come up with good brand names. You don't just wanna say, give me a good brand name. You wanna give it a decent prompt. So just pause this video and you can literally just copy and paste this exact same prompt. And it gave me one word brand names, two word brand names. And the key is here, you just don't overthink it. Just choose one that you feel like sounds good because I guarantee you, there are tons of brands out there that are killing it right now that have very bad names. So your name is not gonna help you scale. I can guarantee you that. I literally looked at this and I chose Lunara. Evokes the lunar cycle connection to periods, done. Then another thing that everybody overthinks is making a logo. Just go to canva.com, make a free account, click add text right here. You can resize it and change the font size, all that stuff. You know, choose a font that you feel like represents the brand. This is a feminine brand, so I wanted a font that was kind of feminine. I chose a feminine or a kind of neutral color and this is what I came up with. This is my logo, done. Now getting back to the fun part, Crafted just finished creating our custom landing page. Let's look at the results. So this is the result, okay? Right off the bat, we have custom branded images that it made using AI. It takes the images from AliExpress, custom designs them, adds even a background to the images. Honestly, mind boggling that AI is able to do this automatically with just a link. And then, you know, you have your title, you have some fake social proof. And what I love is that this AI truly understands understands, you know, how to make a page that makes people convert, right? Like these, it's using conversion rate tactics that I've never seen an AI tool use before, right? Like for example, the add to cart section, right? You have a headline selling point here that focuses on the main selling point of the product, instant warmth and soothing relief, customized comfort, 
record free, feel better anywhere, anytime. Imagine you're somebody that's clicking on my ad and you get to the landing page and you're looking at an add to cart button, but you have to work hard to look for the, the top selling points. Most people are lazy. They just want to be told then and there next to the add to cart button, you know, why they should be convinced to buy it on impulse right there. So this is what that does. And then this social proof widget right here is really, really nice. Very well designed. It has more selling points right here, shipping delivery, 30 day money back guarantee. And then you go down and if you look at the copy, it's not just writing generic AI copy. It's really focusing on relating to the average female's pain points, right? What makes them tick? Because that's what makes a great landing page. So what makes great copywriting is actually being able to connect emotionally with the consumer. Tired of monthly cramps? That would resonate with, you know, that suffers from menstrual pain and period cramps, right? So instead of it being something generic that typically AI would write like period pain relief, right? Period pain relief is very vague that doesn't hit people's emotions your job as a marketer is to connect with people emotionally as much as you can because that is what makes them want to buy from you they don't want to buy your product they want to buy the way you make them feel and that's what makes them buy so comfort and relief all day then it has this like really nice section right here that highlights very specific points of the product you can even change these images. That's the good thing about this, guys, is like you can go into the editor on Shopify and actually like adjust this product page. It has a like us versus them, and then it has a frequently asked question. So overall, it just looks great. Now you'll wanna add your own reviews, but like, guys, you saved hours, if not days, if not weeks by using Crafted. Don't get too excited now. I think we're forgetting something very crucial about our product page here, the selling price. So I made this really easy to use Google Sheet that actually calculates your profitable selling price for you. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use it. So this is my famous sheet right here, the KPI sheet, which is essentially a product profit calculator. So what this does is I plug in all of my fulfillment costs, the product costs, the shipping costs, and I put my selling price and I'm able to see based on different selling prices, what my gross profit margin is and what my net profit margin will be and what ad targets in terms of the ROAS I need to hit to actually get that profit target. So the net profit target I always put, which on average you want 20 to 30% with drop shipping. Most people profit between 15 and 30%, I would say. So I like to kind of go in the middle there. 20% is the target and essentially it'll give me the break even ROAS and the goal ROAS, which is essentially the return on ad spend, right? So how much you actually make an ROI from your ads, right? This is very important. A lot of people ignore this stuff. So let's say, you know, we're, we have a $2.85 cost for the profit. Product. Now, mind you, that's if we're using AliExpress. A lot of people make the mistake of using AliExpress. You do not want to do that to dropship because suppliers are unreliable. A lot of the times the costs are inflated. You're talking about spending like anywhere from 50 to 200% more than you would with a private dropshipping agent. Now I have a private dropshipping agent called Team Drop. I've been using these guys for the last four years and I've been dropshipping for nearly nine years. Now I've used a lot of agents over the years. This particular agent has been the best experience I've ever had in terms of the quotes I get, the shipping times, right? The customer service, most importantly, because most of these guys, you have to deal with a crazy language barrier, right? A lot of them are all Chinese, right? The, the customer service reps that are talking to you. So it's a big language barrier and it makes it really discouraging to actually do this business because if you're trying to get quotes and you know you need some assistance with whatever you need, like, you know, you really want to make sure that your supplier is taking care of you and you don't have any crazy language barriers that make it difficult to actually actually do business, right? That's always been my biggest pain point is dealing with the Chinese language barrier. And I've never had a smoother experience than with Team Drop because they have really solid English speaking reps. That's been the biggest thing. But also whenever I would compare them to other agents, they were always very competitive and always willing to give me a better price. So I've sold over 200,000 units with Team Drop. So unlike other agents, right? They don't charge a monthly fee. You know, you can have free storage. You don't have to pay to get quotes. A lot of agents actually make you feel like you're bothering them if you ask for quotes. Sometimes there's MOQs, like minimum order quantities. And a lot of the times, guys, you don't get a dedicated agent with a lot of these other private agents. You actually just get slow response times and somebody that's working with so many other drop shippers. But Team Drop actually assigns like a dedicated agent to you. This is where you take a product like this and they source it for you directly from the factory. There's no middleman and you get the best possible price and best possible shipping methods. So basically, if you go to the link 
link in the description below. I do have discounted pricing with my link and they will give you a better deal if you go through me due to the relationship I have with them. And essentially, you're just gonna go to that link and you're gonna sign up for the free plan because it's all free. And then they're gonna assign a rep to you and you'll be able to quote and source whatever product you need. So now back to the KPI sheet. So like, let's say with Team Drop, our price was $2.85 and we had free shipping. Under COGS here, we put $2.85, shipping is $0. And then transaction fee is what Shopify payments or the payment processor on our store charges us. So 2.9% plus 0.3 is typical. So I have it baked into the formula here. So whatever you put here under the sell price is going to calculate the transaction fee. Then our total cost is $4.31. I put a theoretical price. Let's say I'm going to sell it for $39.99, right? So then my total selling price would be $39.99. Gross profit would be $35.68, which is an 89% gross margin. So that means to get a 20% net profit, my break-even ROAS is 1.12. And then my goal ROAS is 1.44. So this means that I would break even if I got a 1.12 and I would make a 20% profit if I had a 1.44. Your goal cost per acquisition, the cost to acquire a customer on Meta Ads would be $27.68. So now that we have our selling price, we know what our profit targets are. We're confident in actually setting this price now. So now we're just going to go to the product and set the price. So go here to the variant, click check, bulk edit. And first thing I'm going to do is go to the columns and I'm going to put compared at price so we can put a fake previous price so that way it looks like it's on sale. So then we're going to put the price selling it for $39.99 and then I'm going to put a compared at price typically like 20, 30% off, 40% off, make it look like it was it's, it's now on sale. So let's say it was previously $59.99. So this would be relatively close to about 20% off. Now we can change the badge to actually show 20% off but here's what the default shows. It just shows that sale but there you go. So now you have a fully functioning product page with your selling price. So thanks to Crafted we have a fully functioning Shopify store ready to go. But I'm warning you if you don't understand how to leverage AI to make winning ads for social media you are cooked. Take a look at this UGC video I made in five minutes using Arcad's AI. Leave your period cramps. The coolest part is what it does when you turn it on. It has unfaired light, which is amazing for pain and inflammation. It also has vibrating elements that provides a massage to distract you. Fake actors, no real humans. Now imagine what I could do if I spent more than five minutes on this. You don't have to pay 150 to $200 for a creator to make you a video. If I get 200 likes on this video, I will make a full tutorial on how to leverage ARC ads to make winning ads that can actually replace human creators. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.